Hey everybody, this is Matt, and in today's video I have for you an Adventures of series, this time the Adventures of Labyrinth, the actual tier 0 deck of, Ma of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Alright, so people have been telling me in my comments in my last videos, uh, my last uh, three videos, I had an Adventures of uh, Ling Synchro, I had Adventures of um, Legend of Intelligence, and I had Adventures of uh, Labyrinth climbing from Diamond to Master 5, right? So in this video, I'll be climbing to, uh, you know, Master 1, obviously. Um... Yeah, and people will be writing my comments. Oh, we're it's tier zero again, just like tier limits. You know, like fire deck is a new tier limits. You know, like we gotta tech in Necroval, we gotta tech in Soul Drain, we gotta do this, we gotta do that. And I'm just like thinking, what are y'all smoking? Th yo, fire uh, or snake eyes is nowhere near the power level of full power tier limits. Okay, like like it is not a tier zero format, at least not in Master Duel. It is in the TCG and OCG because of Fire Kings. Fire Kings is a problematic archetype. Snake Eyes is a very reasonably, very reasonable ba archetype. Very balanced, in my opinion, right? Um, I mean, maybe there's a few cards here that that could be limited, probably. But in general, I don't have. There's nothing obnoxious about the Snake Eyes archetype. But there is some obnoxious shit with Fire Kings, right? So Fire Kings just has a million abilities where, like, they just recycle stuff from the graveyard and pop, 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 pop. They just pop left and right, right? As far as I know, Snake Eyes has Promethean and Princess. That's it. <laughs> if, if you don't play in the Promethean and Princess, they, do, they don't really do much popping, right? You have Lord of the Heavenly Prison, they don't do much popping. So, I don't know what what this... this this. Uh, I mean, here, like, is it T0 in the sense of uh, there's a lot of people playing Snake Eyes? Yes. I've noticed that since uh, I started my rank grind... Uh, Snake eyes are everywhere, and like Brandon has like disappeared off the face of the earth. Like, where did Brandon go? Like, they barely got hit in the last ban list, right? Where does Super Heavy Samurai go? All right, to be fair, I still see Super Heavy Samurai. I'd say uh, Snake Eyes and Super Heavy Samurai are the two most common deck uh, that I've been seeing recently. Um, and honestly, I think like Super Heavy Samurai is more annoying than Snake Eye. Like, Snake Eye is not that bad of a matchup. You don't need Necro Valley. You don't need Soul Drain. You don't need D-Shifter. <laughs> Although, if you had a deck that played D-Shifter, go ahead and play it. But I don't think we would play in Labyrinth. So, so, what you see in front of the screen right now is a deck list that I've been using on my grind. Right. Uh, it's very, it's pretty much the same deck list uh, as the previous one uh, in my last Adventures of video, where, um, uh, you know, I, I did like a few swaps. The only difference I made here is I swapped out one copy of D Barrier for one copy of for a second copy of uh, Draco Utopian Aura. So, Brand like I said, Brandon disappeared off the face of the earth. I have no idea where Brandon went, right? I see more cash Tira decks than Brandon at this point. Like, that's how, like, a, like crazy it's been. Um, so, yeah. Just took out, just cut d Barry down to one just because I don't think I need it as much anymore, right? Plus, it's still searchable off, off Lady, so whatever. Um, yeah, and I just put another Draco Utopian Aura. Draco Utopian Aura, like... Uh, is is actually hilariously good against uh, uh, Snake Eye. Like they normal summon Snake Eye Ash, use this effect. You Draco Utopia, they gain it, and then their turn is over. Right? Like that, their their only follow up, like if they have any, is like Diabella Star. And even then, it's like you know, it, it like they have to commit resources to do that. They have to send cards to you know. It, it's it's not like it's not super free, right? But yeah, like it, it's. I, don't know, I just think D Barrier hasn't done as much mileage as Draco Utopian Aura has in this in this format. So yeah, you do not need Soul Drain. If Fire Kings once Fire Kings releases, you will need Soul Drain because fuck fuck Fire Kings. Fire Kings is, is obnoxious as hell. For me, the Princess it doesn't matter. Uh, Flamberge doesn't matter. All, all those other boss monsters that Snake Eyes has don't really matter, honestly. Um, I, I'm, I still have two copies of Sphere Mode. Uh, honestly, it hasn't even come up. I might even cut Sphere Mode. Like that's how. Again, it, it, it's not a tier zero format. And, like, yeah, Snake Eyes is the most popular, but it is nowhere near the power level uh, of uh, when Tier Limits was at, at full power. Uh, what do they put up? Um, they can do a Unicorn play to bounce one of your cards on your turn. Uh, if you Special Summon, they can use Princess to pop. Maybe they, uh, they get Emblo. Like, they don't have that many interruptions. And, like, two of those interruptions, like, two of those pops, they, they're literally just stopped by Lord of the Heavenly Prison, right? Like, what, what are they going to pop, right? <laughs> like... Lord of the Heavenly Prison? <laughs> uh, yeah? Hello? <laughs> you know, it's like... Yeah, so calm down in my comments about this deck. It's not that big a deal. Um, 
I, like, so I'm not finished with my climb yet as of I'm recording this video. So usually the way I record these videos is I play a bunch of games. I save replays of games I think are interesting or noteworthy, right? And uh, after I have 10 replays saved, um, I record, right? Because you can only have up to 10 replays saved on your profile. I record those 10 replays. You know, I, I go through the matches. Then I have the video file. I Then I delete those 10 replays. And then I start playing some more games, save more replays, and then when I finish the climb, whatever videos I recorded for the replays, I just edit together using Adobe Premium, right? So that's how I normally should these, these, uh, make these videos, right? So as of this moment that I'm speaking, I'm still in Master Two, right? I have not yet gotten to Master One, uh, but I'm very—I'm like five wins away, so it's like it's gonna be very imminent. It's—it's it's inevitable I will be in Master One. The reason I bring this up is because uh, let me just show you my match history. All right, so here's my match history. Um, so see here, I'm still uh, Master 2, right? I'm currently on a 7-game win streak. I, 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 pre I previously had an 8-game win streak, right? Now let's click this match history button and let's see what happens. So if you look at my last games, it's all fucking wins, right? There's one loss there. Uh, and that's it. Two losses. I have two losses in 20 games. So my last 20 games, so, and this is all ranked, right? So see diamond diamond one up to master two or master yeah so i'm i mean my last match was against master three three opponent but i'm master two currently i have one loss uh, two losses sorry two losses in 20 games that means my win rate is fucking 90 percent <laughs> i have a 90 percent win rate playing the labyrinth deck that i just showed you on my screen this isn't ranked this is not you know this is not a festival these are all ranked games and some of these replays you'll see. I, I don't. I don't post all of them because some of them are not interesting. Some of them are just like insta scoops. But the reason I want to show you this match is just because I'm I'm seriously having an easier climb this season, this month, like than I did last month when I, it was like Brandon Super Heavy Samurai. I swear to God, it, it's just every Snake Eyes is just an easier. It's just easier. It's all easier, right? Let me ask me, Are we in a tier zero format? Let me answer that question again. Yes, we are in a tier zero format. And the T0 best deck is Labyrinth. Play my Labyrinth deck. And you'll, like, it's insane. Like, normally, I have around 75% win rate. 70, 75% win rate. On a normal month, when I'm doing a rank climb, I'm at 90 right now, motherfuckers. Like, this is this is insane, right? Like, how much I'm just winning left and right. And no, I'm not winning every coin toss. I am going second in plenty of games. But it's just, like, it's just hilarious that people are, are complaining about Snake Eyes. And yeah, Snake Eyes, you should complain about in the TCG and the OCG because they have the Fire King cards. They have, they have other uh, goodies in their bag, right? They have SP Little Knight, right? That make them more um, more annoying, more uh, formidable. But honestly, the Master Duel, they're not. They are nowhere near Tier 0 deck. Tier 1, sure, I guess. But but I, I seriously have more... I'm more annoyed at playing against uh, Super Heavy Samurai or going second against Math Mech, right? I would rather play Snake Eyes any day of the week than have to, having to go second against Math Mech or have, having to play uh, in, against Super Heavy Samurai. Like, I don't know. It's just, that's that's just my feeling. Um, so, yeah, that, that's my that's literally my match history. And I'm sure, like, you know, I need five more wins to get to Master from Master Two to Master One. I wouldn't be surprised if I win <laughs> all five of those my next games and just get to Master One. Like it's 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 great strain. So I'll update you guys on whether or not I get to how many wins it takes me, or how many games it takes me to get to Master Two to Master One. Like later in this video, but yeah, this this whole this whole uh, I don't know uh, doom saying about Snake Eyes and Tier Zero. It's all it's all hot air. It's all hot air. Okay, just play my labyrinth deck. Like it's you don't need to play Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes is, is hot dog dog shit. All right, let's get into the actual replays. All right, so here we have game number one. Uh, we're doing number one. We have uh, Labyrinth versus uh, Snake Eyes. Uh, 45 cards. They have double twin twisters, a lightning storm, a feather duster. So this is a Snake Eyes that has been probably losing to back row deck slash Labyrinth because I, you do not see this much back row hate. In, uh, oh, and then this dude's playing Blaster Dragon Related Infernos, which is kind of funny because it is a fire monster and it pops cards to do stuff. So... I can see I can appreciate the interaction there. So anyway, let's uh get into this. Yeah, this is 
I don't even remember like most of these uh, Snake Eye matchups because they they all just are blurred to me. Anyway, so I go first here. Open severe mode, which is a brick going first, but whatever. Uh, very good opening. Otherwise, Ariana into field spell. Let's go ahead and set three. All right. Uh, Diabella Star into Sinful Spoils, original Sinful Spoils, Field Spell into a Search, Send, Special Ash. By the way, all this is happening without a normal summon. Uh, uh, Poplar, Sinful Spoils, Subversion, Link Rebo. Uh, so here's the thing. So Sinful Spoils, Subversion. Uh, so there's two things I want I want to mention. So this card is not a quick play. So if this if this card tar normally if this card targets one of your uh, Labyrinth monsters, like let's say. Uh, Ariana or Lovely because it can't target Lady. Um, you can chain Big Welcome uh, to basically bounce their tar the target back to your hand and bring out another monster, and then it just fizzles, right? However, uh, you have to be careful because this card here in the graveyard says um, uh, when your opponent activates card in response to your Dial Bell Star monster effect or your Sinful Spoil Spell Trap card in activation, bench card from the graveyard and negate that opponent's effect. So because I know that, I can't. If I res if I attempt to respond to the sinful spoils uh, card, uh, I, my big welcome is actually going to get negated. So I don't want to do that. So be very careful about that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and let Ariana go here. I don't care. So yeah, I'm going to bring out Lady. I'm going to pop the field spell, and then Lady's going to come out and summon here, and then they can't attack into me. Cool. Uh, end phase D bear just so I can search welcome. Yeah. So. Oh, Lord. You love to see Lord. I love Lord. So, uh, let's bring out Ice Dragons. Ice Dragons is very good in Snake Eyes because you can bet most of their starters are Pyros. If they have more than one Diabella Star, you can banish the Diabella Stars or Spell Casters. And then most uh, Snake Eyes players I see uh, run two Flamberge, which are Dragons, right? So, yeah. Ice Dragons is very good. In fact, I might just put a second Ice Dragons like because of how good it is right now against Snake Eyes. Anyway, so we pop Lingaribo. Uh... Can I make one uh, lovely. I'm gonna pop a card in hand. Uh, Kuri Car. That's kind of funny. And then I'm gonna reset. Welcome. Well, let's battle. Uh, he's gonna revive. That's fine. Uh, they're gonna search something. Okay, sure. Uh, wanted. Sure. All right. Goodbye. Back back to the graveyard with you. Activate Lord. So they're gonna put back. This card, they're gonna grab an oak or whatever. They're gonna want it into Diabella Star, so they do have a second. Okay. Yep. Uh, summon the thing. I'm gonna Ice Dragons. Uh, yeah. So basically, they're gonna attempt to special summon. Uh, where is it? They're gonna attempt to special summon or put Ash in their in their hand, and Ash has an effect that allows them to do some stuff. But I'm gonna chain Ice Dragons to steal Ash. So they don't have Ash anymore, and I can possibly banish these two. So they're going to chain Linkaribo uh, to prevent the banish, but I still take their Ash, and they don't have Ash anymore. So I, I, I stop their plays, and then they're going to set Subversion, uh, but it's on the field, right? Which means I can literally just welcome, bring out Ariana, pop this Dubella Star, uh, chain link one, Ariana to, uh, to draw, chain link two, lovely, to pop, chain link three, uh, Lord, because I need to summon Lord so I can pop f uh, face down, right? Lord comes out. I'm going to set virus. Lol. I'm going to pop uh, this. And then uh, they're going to feather duster. Uh, oh, no. Anyway. Um, cool. So they feather duster me. But now I have like. <laughs> game. <laughs> and if I don't have game. Uh, lovely take, puts a trap from the graveyard to the field. I set karma cannon. And then I pot a duality into another trap. I still end on set three. So <laughs> that Feather Duster, completely worthless. Actually, that Feather Duster was good for me because the Ariana that was clogging up one of my back row slots is now gone, right? And so I can I can get that Ariana. So I, I mean, the biggest downside is I lost the field spell, but who cares? I just straight up won the game. So yeah, garbage deck. Snake Eye sucks. Go play Labyrinth. Uh, duel number two, we have, what is this? Uh, Labyrinth versus Infernobles. Yeah, Infernobles is effectively... Just burrowed the Fleur Turbo, right? <laughs> like, yeah, uh, I believe I go first here, and um, yeah, as soon as they have enough materials to make a Synchro 10, you you stop them, you prevent the Baron, or you Psalm Strike the Baron, right? 
All right, opening lovely, not no bueno. So let's prosperity into. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go rivalry because again, I don't know what what opponent I'm against. If it's branded rivalry, kills them. If it's super heavy, they're locked into machines. If it's uh, snake eye, they yeah, I can lock them into spellcasters or pyros, right? So they can't even bring out flamberge or do any link plays. So yeah, rivalry. Unfortunately, rivalry does nothing against um, uh, infernoble. I, I guess it locks them into warriors, which I mean, most of their stuff is warriors anyway. So who cares? Doesn't do much. So Oliver. So usually my plan is to solemn strike the Zold. So I'm saving that for the Zold. I'm going to go ahead and build one. They're going to max C, sure. Yep. So I'm waiting on the Ozold. I'm going to put uh, Lady down. Rivalry, so that they're locked into Warriors. I don't want them making any cheeky plays with, like, Unicorn or whatever, right? Okay, Princess. More stuff. I, I, honestly, I have no idea what the Infernoble cards do. They, it's just a combo deck that just... Russia's a negator, a popper, or emperor charge. I don't know what it does. All right, so I count four plus five plus one is ten. So I'm gonna go ahead and karma cannon, uh, chain lady, and then their links they can't link summon because they're using the extra monster zone, and they can't synchro anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a uh, big welcome so I can bring lovely out. But yeah, so this is like gone, and then uh, okay, they're gonna do some stuff. Cool. Uh, and then they're just gonna scoop. Like, like, what, dude? What are, you, what are you gonna do at this point? Like, I still have a song strike just in case they attempt to still make plays without being able to link summon. Like, they're basically locked into synchros with only three. I, I don't know what their deal is. Like, yeah, the game is over. Um, yeah, I'm gonna attack their their uh, uh, their uh, Roland right, and then about mid battle phase, I big welcome into uh, bring out uh, Lady right, uh, chain or chain Lady. Uh, Probably bring on Ice Dragon's Prison, right? Because Ice Dragon's great against an all Warriors deck. Actually, no, I can't Ice Dragon's under a rivalry. Probably Punishment, whatever. Bring on another card. Lo lovely, lovely comes out. Uh, Lady returns. Lovely pops. Lovely attacks. Yeah, game is completely over. Like, it's, there's nothing they can do here. Uh, duel number three, we have uh, Labyrinth versus Math Mech with a single copy of Fenrir. Wait, did I see a Fenrir? No, I'm imagining things. Yeah, some of these monsters look like Fenrir. Yeah, just straight up math mech. I believe I'm going second in this one. Let's see if there's anything here that reminds me of a... Yeah, whatever. Let's just get into this. Yeah, so I am going second against math mech. The math mech puts up a pretty obnoxious board for the most part. Yeah, so I'm going second. Uh, I I open a cracked hand, by the way, right? Like this is just an amazing hand for going second in any against any matchup. Oh, oh yeah. Fast forward. Yeah, so um, they search equation, which means they already have super factorial in hand. That's usually what it means, right? And then they search the diameter, right? Splash into this. Yep. Link decoder. Let's go talking. The ease at which cyber decks can just link climb for, for like so free, like freely, like they have a link five and they have a normal summon. They have not normal summon. I'm pretty sure they have a normal summon. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I draw a second D barrier, so I'm still running two D barriers at this point. They're gonna send the fusion, which gives them a negate. This is a stupid fucking card, by the way. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and set five pass. They're going to, uh, factorial. Yep. Make, uh, Laplacian. Laplacian is going to send the middle card. A D bar so the two D barriers. So the least important cards, uh, are sniped. Great. So I'm going to skill drain here. They're going to send the thing. Okay. And then they're going to send, uh, meteorologic aggregator to negate skill drain. But then this card is at 3,000 attack, right? So I'm going to Torrential. They're going to negate this. That, that's what I was hoping. And then I'm going to... Uh, uh, so I got the negate out, right? Crystal Heart. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, goes the match. Force him into Darks. 
Yeah, so uh, I think I, before I let them go to Jigolum, I should have Karma Cannon to get rid of their entire field minus the uh, the Sigma. So that was a mistake on my part, but it's, it's not going to end up mattering, as you'll see. So they're locked into Darks. And this guy's skill drain, right? So they're going to use their effect for some reason, and I'm just going to Psalm Strike, like, okay, cool. I'll just kill your monster. That's cool. Like, like, cool. Yeah, I have a Karma Cannon. All right, I have a Lord. Lord and Karma Cannon is all I need to build my board into its masterpiece, right? Okay. I don't know what this is about. Uh, I'm going to battle phase Karma Cannon. They're just going to scoop. Yeah. Because I bring out Lord. I set a big welcome. Like, yeah, I, and I have a big body and they don't. So easy game, easy life. Yeah, they can't like Matt. They can't play and there goes a match. GG. Uh, duel number four. We have Labyrinth versus um. Fuck is this Luna Light? Wait, Catapult Turtle. What the shit? Uh, Luna Light Raid Raptor uh, Xyz shit. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but there's apparently some synergy here with Luna Lights and uh, Raiders and X, uh, Raid Raptors or whatever it's called. Pretty good opening hand. Double Lord, unfortunately, but that's fine. Lord, uh, you love Lord. It's a three. Okay, normal summon, mill, mill a thing, mill another thing. Uh, Mothman. Special. Going to four strix. Four strix detaches to special uh, search. So basically, I'm assuming at this point, I think they're going to go into Draco Utopian Future. Right, so I think norm. I I'm not fully familiar with this deck or this line, this combo line. But from my perspective, they're putting a bunch of level fours on, on the on the board. They're gonna make a second rank four, probably another raid ra raptor four six. Is uh four six is not once per turn, and then they're gonna overlay to F zero Utopian Future, and then uh, Draco Utopian Future. Right, when they make F zero Utopian Future, I plan a torrential tribute. Right, that was that was my plan. So. But instead, they link into Wise Strix. I'm like, okay. So Wise Strix says, uh, uh, if you're Raid Raptor, these monsters effects activate set of uh, ranked, ranked up magic, right? And then they can go ahead and make Raiders Knight. Uh, I'm pretty sure. So this says, this had to a special summon for extra deck. But I don't want them special summoning and making a, a rank five, which could be one of those like Arc Rebellion XYZ monsters. So I decide, uh, yeah, it's time to Trenchal. Goodbye. And then I'm going to Lord. And then they're going to scoop. <laughs> the game is over. <laughs> Yeah, this is OTK. Like, I think they use a normal summon. They're out of extenders. Game is ogre. Easy game, easy life. Game uh, duel number five: Labyrinth versus Super Heavy Samurai. I think I remember this game. One copy of Diddy Crow. Why? For the Promethean Princess. Like, uh, one copy of Mourner. All right. Whew. So I do go first. Pretty good opening hand. Rivalry not great against Super Heavy because they, they're, they're Synchro 8 can out it. Um, they have a Synchro 8 Super Heavy machine that, that can pop cards, right? But uh, whatever. So I'm going to big welcome, attempt to big welcome into Lady. Uh, just because I want to see if they have Ash. They do have Ash. Okay, that's fine. I'll allow that. Okay. There's a scarecrow, right? Scarecrow's gonna summon a thing, and now this is gonna summon another thing. And now they have a tuner, and this tuner can change the levels, and then they can possibly make the rank the synchro eight. So I'm gonna torrential. Goodbye. And they have to scoop uh, and, and turn rather. All right. Uh, so bring out uh, Ariana. Uh, they're gonna veil her. Um, so that's kind of greedy. I should have just brought out Lady. That's fine. Yeah, because I can't duality, right? Because I have big welcome. That's fine. That's a normal summon. Search. So remember, folks. Uh, yeah, this Scarecrow, this is their bottleneck right here. Uh, 
Uh, they're going to discard, and I'm going to say no. Goodbye. That's two Scarecrows. So once I've dealt with their third Scarecrow, they're, they're out of resources, right? I'm going to bounce Ariana back to hand so I can use her effect again. There's a Lord. Oh, I love Lord. My favorite card. Bring out a Lady. Battle. Uh, activate duality. Ooh, a torrential. You love to see it. I'm gonna get ice dragons because ice dragons—they're uh, all machines, right? And I and I can lock them under rivalry. So activate Lord set. They're gonna DD crow. My big welcome. Say it ain't so. Okay. Uh, all right, sure. So they're gonna do some stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'm basically waiting to, to, to use uh, uh, Prison when they make a, a, their third Scarecrow claw, claw, right? But they know I have it because of duality. Battle phase, okay. They kill themselves to trigger the search, okay. So this is going to uh, tribute. They're going to steal my Torrential, okay. Uh, and on end phase, I'm going to go ahead and steal their card. Uh, they're going to Gamma my Lady, okay, sure. Summon Lord, uh, set big welcome. See, the thing about Torrential, my, my, my guy, is... See, I understand how cards work. This is a one effect. So if I big welcome, you literally miss timing. So you're never going to use this Torrential Tribute. Oh, speaking of, I drew another one. And yeah, this is the scoop. Like, again, I do damage on the field, and then I big welcome into l Lovely. Uh, bounce Lord, Lovely pops... Probably car, uh, their pendulum or a card in hand. I swing. It's over. It's completely over. Super heavy is a joke. Get wrecked. Uh, duel number six, we have uh, Labyrinth versus... Oh, Dinosaurs. I remember this duel. Ground Xeno. What the hell? Out of... Yeah, so Dino's got a bunch of supports. They have a Megalithal Masher. Draconic Diagram with the True King Little Guy. Damn, that's, this is uh, old school Dinos. Let's go. I haven't seen the dinos in a long time. <laughs> the dinos is just like a fucking Appaloosa, Boral Lord, Sa Savage tur uh, Turbo anyway, so. Another cringe. Degenerate card. Or deck. Let's just get a draw two. Pretty good. Ariana. Let's get the field spell. Alright, so they're gonna search Miss Lanisaurus. And I'm gonna. They're going to use Miscellaneous Effect to make make it so their uh, dinos are immune in the main phase. I'm actually going to say no to that. I have a lot of interruptions that I want to use on their main phase. I cannot allow a fucking miss to cuck me. Like, sorry. You can do your your your, your search, like, your special, whatever. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, so they have enough for a Synchro 10 here. So, yeah, I'm going to... Break that, okay. Uh, draw a card. They're gonna triple tactics to steal one of my one of my cards, or my li uh, lady, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and torrential. They're gonna, uh, cause they normal this. They're gonna set uh, imperm. That's fine. They're gonna nightmare phoenix to pop my field spell. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna big welcome here. Bring out lovely bounce Ariana, uh, link chain link one, lovely chain link two ultimate Tyranno. Ultimate Tyranno pops himself to Book of Moon lovely, and then I'm like, all right, cool. I'll just pop this like whatever. And then Imperm is worthless, right? Because I have a big I have a big welcome. This game is over. It's so over. It's so over. They're gonna Imperm, <laughs> and I'm gonna say no. <laughs> so lady comes back, bounce Ariana, get fucking wrecked, son. <laughs> Channeling one, I'm gonna channeling two, and then I'll pop their hand. Let's see what's in their hand. Garbage. Bam. Then I have a D bear to stop synchros. I have a a torrential. I have a big welk. I have everything. This game is so over. It's so over. Easy game, easy life. Not even close. Duel number seven. Uh, we have Labyrinth versus um, uh. Snake Eyes with a little Castira engine. Okay. Not sure what the Castira engine is about. Oh, to just bodies, I guess. Like, 
They have no XCs, so it's just bodies. Jet Synchron, yeah, level 7s, they can make a Borlo, whatever. I remember this game was a shellacking. I remember, like, wrecking this dude. I go first here. So duality. They're going to Ash duality. Wow. Okay. I'm okay with that. There's the Fenrir. Get Unicorn. Sure. Diabella Star. Diabella Star effect. Uh, negate. Goodbye. And then they're just going to battle. Sure. End phase is going to big welcome. I'm not going to big welcome end phase because I, I can only use one trap. And in case they have an ash, I want the Psalm Strike option. They're going to maxi. Sure. Yeah, they can draw. It doesn't matter. So, I've, yeah. They're going to search Unicorn. Sure. Ash into uh, Poplar. Yep. Make your little things, that's fine. Mascarena, yep. Uh, princess, and then that's a Psalm Strike. So, Princess cannot be revived from the graveyard because it wasn't properly summoned. So, yeah, that's that's a resource that's gone. End phase, I'm going to uh, Lady uh, D Barrier just because it, it does nothing doesn't do much against their deck but i want to search a card i want to search ice dragons why ice dragons because because they have a flamberge in the graveyard and they have one on the field and as soon as i big welcome the lovely this field spell is going to let them summon flamberge <laughs> and then i banish both their flamberges g fucking g so chain link uh, yeah here it is chain link one uh field spell chain link two lovely chain link three lady Pop Fenrir, because so he doesn't banish my lady. Lovely, right? And then he's going to summon Link Rebo, sure. Ah, you have a dragon on the field and a dragon in the graveyard, huh? Ah, hmm, hmm. Ice dragons? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this game is so over. I take, I'm going to take, uh, literally, I take out both of their Flamberges, right? Lovely pops their field spell. Or their face. It doesn't matter. I pop something. I run over whatever. Their Link Rebo, right? I use Lovely to reset Ice Dragons. And then if they do any plays involving Pyros, where they'd have to normal summon a Pyro to, and or like revive a Pyro from the graveyard, I banish their Pyros using Ice Dragons. This game is like, it's unbelievably over. It's like, there's nothing they can do. It's, they're, they're, it's, it, the Snake Eyes is such an easy deck to dismantle. It's, it's hilarious. Uh, duel number eight. We have... Uh, Labyrinth versus Snake Eyes again. Uh, single triple tactics, single Nibiru. I guess that's a cross out target. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's garbage. Oh man, total dismantling of this of this deck. By the way, going first. Uh, Lord Ariana into Big Welcome. Let's get a pot here. Uh, yeah, I'll take a Trap Trick. Thank you very much. Set for Pass Arino. Diabella Star. This into, uh, Poplar. Uh, yes, yeah, so I can't, I can't, uh... Drake Utopian, die Bellasar because uh, they, they chain blocked it. That's fine. Okay, they got original sinful spoils. That's fine. Yep. I'm, I'm just chilling. Like, I have no rush to use any of my cards, right? I'm just going to chill. There's a Flamberge. So uh, on the Flamberge, uh, 
I'm gonna big welcome. So why do I big welcome? So the Flambridge has a slow effect that puts it might put Ariana in my spell trap zone. However, if I I could do they could do Flambridge one and I could chain link to big welcome to dodge that and bring out lovely. However, if they have an Ash, I don't dodge it. This fizzles and then Ariana goes to my my spell trap zone, which is no bueno. So I'm just gonna say I'm gonna bring out lovely. Mount Ariana just pop Flambridge right before he can even use this effect. So goodbye Flambridge. So he become, he uh, summons out two more things, sure. But then they have Sinful Spoil Subversion. They're going to put L Lovely on in my uh, back row anyway. Um, however, I'm going to Karma Cannon here just because I'm curious what happens if Lovely is face down, right? So th the requirement is target a face up. It's not the requirement. But what happens if it... I'm just out of curiosity, I, I wanted to see what happens if this... I, I think it doesn't change anything. And in fact, I was right. Yeah, so this just goes goes here. So they got three three cards. They can't link. Patrick and the reg, uh, regular welcome. Regular welcome into Ariana. Uh, they're going to summon my lovely, which is very interesting. Uh, yeah, Lord is going to set big welcome. Ariana is going to bring out Lady, and I'm going to summon Lady. Yeah, so you kind of see what's going to go on here. I'm going to kill lovely, put it in my graveyard, and then big welcome lovely, right? But this actually helps me. The fact that he took Lovely off of my pack row into their field actually is good for me, right? Ariana into the field spell because it's fucking cracked, right? So there there goes Lovely. So I'm going to leave Diabellastar on the field. Uh, I'm, I'm going to attack Diabellastar last because Diabellastar has a graveyard recycle effect. I'm going to kill their, their Pyros first. And now I kill Diabellastar. So then uh, loses the field spell, comes back, searches the thing. Sure, whatever. And now I'm gonna big welcome. They're gonna max C. This dude just draws Maxi out the wazoo. A lovely comes back. I'm gonna return Lord. Pop their trap. Uh chain link one, lovely chain link two, welcome. I'm gonna pop their their so it's called by the grave. They should have used it on lovely, honestly. Uh but whatever. A uh, Diabell star, goodbye. And then lovely returns Karma Cannon. I have like look at this board! What can they do against my board? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So let's see what they're going to do. So they're going to uh, normal summon Ash and use Ash effect. I'm gonna just going to Utopian Aura. Like, right? So Diabell Stars in their graveyard. Not A lot of Snake... Or two of the Diabell Stars in the graveyard. I doubt they have a third one or a Wanted. But yeah, if I negate Ash the witch, and their one and only normal summon, like what plays do they have right like how many field spells do they realistically play i mean i still have multiple interruptions right like i have welcome which can pop and then lovely can pops again i have karma cannon i have multiple interruptions still but i'm just curious hey now you're using your normal summon on ash if i think find a game destroyed with utopian aura are you out of place and the answer is uh yes they're out <laughs> they're just out of place <laughs> Goodbye, Ash. Like, that's your normal summon, right? But yeah, it, this was this game was not even close. It was not even close. Duel number nine. We have Labyrinth versus uh, Stun. <laughs> like, straight up Stun. I remember this, this fucking duel. Yeah, it was very obnoxious. Very obnoxious. I do go first. Lord set four. Great opening hand, by the way. But then they immediately normal summon the die now. So I can't even Lord. I can't big welcome. So yeah. Feels fucking bad. I have to out this dino. Uh with punishment or with uh with uh, uh the karma cannon or a trap trick, which goes into uh, punishment or karma cannon. So yeah, so I just gotta wait to draw the out, <laughs> right? Can't summon Lord, can't big welcome. Yeah, this is stupid. Barrier statue of the draught. So stupid. So there's trap trick. So I get rid of D barrier. So yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, actually I could have gone into torrential here. Yeah, torrential also would have done it. Um, but they actually yeah. So I try to negate Ecclesia and I bait out their solemn warning. 
Okay. Um, yeah, Solemn Warning can negate the Topian R because it includes an effect that special summons, right? Which is the second part, even though it's optional. Anyway, so I'm going to go to Punishment. Uh, yeah, so let's, in Battle Fight, let's take out this Dino. And let's end to this, take out this statue. So, Lady, Special Lady, they have Solemn Warning again. Uh, but then I'm going to Lord, and then they're going to punish me, my Lord. They're going to do Bucephalus and the Garura. Set Gozen. I'm going to Shotgun Gozen because I don't want them, I want them locked in the Light Monsters. Most of these other cards they have, these Floodgates are all Earths, right? They're going to Mirror Shield, sure. So draw Ariana, normal Ariana, search lady, special lady. They're going to draw what doesn't matter. Yeah, now that lady's on the field, the game is over. It's completely over. So they're going to punishment Ariana. I'm going to chain uh, this to put out a Karma Cannon. They're going to pop Gozen, and they're going to summon Dino. Uh, okay, uh, bounce Ecclesia. Dino is worthless. Yeah, they, they, they done fucked up. Yeah, players who play this this deck is, are like not smart at all. Goodbye. Duality. Uh, let's grab this field spell. <laughs> it's, field spell lets us summon li lovely off of Karma Cannon. This game is so over. It's completely over. Oh, Ecclesia with the spell. The shield. No way. Uh, battle phase. Karma Cannon into Lady. Set virus, cause fuck this dude. Yeah, <laughs> get wrecked. Channeling one shield, channeling two field spell to summon lovely. Yeah, game is over. Game is completely over. Uh, yeah, cancer deck. Uh, duel number ten. We have labyrinth versus um, tier limits. I do go first. What's with all these going first replays? No, I'm not. I do go second. The problem is there was, there were actually no I interesting games, with where I went second. That, that, that's the thing. Like, I think there was one earlier, like this replay that, that you saw that went second. But most of the games, where I go second and win, it's like it's not that interesting. They either misplay or they break, or I just break their board instantly and they, it's a scoop. Like I don't know. It's just it wasn't that interesting. Anyway, so I duality into Karma Cannon. So let, let me let me go over something real quick. So I dualityed. Sorry, I prosperity and I revealed well big welcome, Ariana, Karma Cannon, D Barrier, Lady. Why did I go into Karma Cannon? I already had a welcome, a big welcome, and, and virus. Because if they draw me right here, if I let's say I go into Ariana, they draw me, my turn is over, right? Ariana can't search. And my only sets are Labyrinth, big, Welcome Labyrinth, Big Welcome, and Eradicator. And if they have a single ash for the welcomes, uh I, I basically have frankly no interruptions on their turn, right? So I play it safe. In case they have Droll, and I will go into Karma Cannon because Karma Cannon gives me something to do on their turn, right? So very important that you have something to do. So I don't get Drolled, so I decide, all right, cool. So now I'm going to Duality, and I see a Gozen match. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking the Gozen match because it's a Floodgate, and we're going to set five. Yes, people always draw Fenrir even though it's at one. It's crazy. So I'm going to go into... Uh, Welcome here. No Ash. So here's Lady. Fenrir does nothing. They summon Rhino Heart, Mill. Uh, they're going to attempt to fuse, and I'm going to say uh, Gozen. So they lock themselves in the waters, right? Um, so here's the thing, folks. Uh, Kit Kalos is a dark, right? Not a water. So, uh, and I believe uh, Kaleido Heart is also a dark, which means whatever monster they attempt to make here, Basically, it's just going to be Mud Dragon of the Swamp. <laughs> Actually, they can't even make Mud Dragon. Or can they? I don't know. But yeah, Gozen completely cucks them here. If they stick to Earth, they fuse into nothing. Fenrir is worthless. If they stick to Waters, it's also worthless. So, yeah, so, so they're just going to straight up scoop. Goodbye. Yeah, the game is over. Yeah, easy game, easy life. All right, let's move on to more duels. All right, so let's get into the last five duels here. Um, <clears throat> as an update, because I mentioned this previously in my video, um, 
Yeah, so I did get to Master 1, obviously. Uh, I did not win the next five games uh, in a row. I did lose one, so I actually had to win six games, right? So I lost one, won six to get to Master 1, right? Uh, so that means in 26, in the last 26 games in ranked, uh, you know, high in like Masters, right? Uh, of the 26 games I played, I've won 23 of them. So you still have that still averages out to like 88, 89%. Uh, win rate so yeah again labyrinth is the tier zero deck folks um anyway duel number 11 we have uh labyrinth versus a 60 card branded uh bisial so ironically <laughs> uh, i recorded the first uh, part of this video where i mentioned um <laughs> no i'm cutting d bear down to one because uh all the I i'm not seeing branded decks anymore right where did all the branded decks go and then the very first <laughs> duel, the very first uh, uh, match <laughs> in my in the remaining of the rank climb is against Brandon. So <laughs> there it is. Anyway, I go first. Ariana's gonna get uh, Valard here. Okay, sure. Prosperity for six. Uh, uh, I do get punishment. And then duality for three. Uh, yeah, let's clear up skill drain because skill drain is cracked. So set three pass. I think I, oh, I remember this gate duel. It was actually pretty interesting. So there's the Bishop Lubelion, Magnamut. Albaz is going to attempt to fuse uh, Super Poly here. Uh, I'm going to skill drain this. And then they're going to Super Poly. So by the way, they had to discard one card for Albaz and one card for Super Poly. So they're down to one card in hand, right? Just so they can get a Lubelion on the field here. Uh, which, uh, okay, like, cool. Swings for 25, does nothing else. End phase. So why did I not uh, punishment during battle phase? Because I don't. if they have any more plays or cards that they're going to set, uh, I don't want them to, like, I don't want them to react to my punishment, right? So, for example, let's say he swung at me, and then he set a card, like, in his back row, the last card in his back row. I get punishment for Entis, pop the Lubelion, pop the back row, right? But if uh, in battle phase, he didn't have anything set. So I, 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 I took the 25, uh, and then in end phase, I'm going to go ahead and send Bucephalus here. Bucephalus, a uh, 1, uh, Trap Trick 2. I'm going to get Welcome. Uh, send Garura, Garura into Welcome. Get Lady, uh, draw Sirmo, which is kind of an unfortunate draw, but whatever. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, attack here. Set Karma Cannon. So they have they actually have a Magnum Moon in hand. It's it's revealed what they had, because they searched it off Lubelion, so... Albion's going to mill Retribution, sure. Magnamu is going to manage Ariana, whatever. There's a Lubelion, 3k defense, okay. Activate Lord. Yeah, since we're all skill drain, it's just like whoever has the biggest beaters wins, right? Uh, they top deck Grass, milled a bunch of stuff, okay. Saranir, mill Brandon White. Tragedy is going to uh, go ahead and grab Brandon White, okay. Activate Brandon White to make uh, Mirror Jade. Yep. Uh, summon Lord, set pot. So uh, Mirror Jade is going to send this, uh, get negated. Uh, Brandon Retribution is going to grab uh, Brightest Blazing, Brandon King. Okay. All right, so main phase, pot. Uh, they're going to try to negate Pot with uh, Brightest Blazing, which requires them to have a face-up fusion, uh, Albas fusion, right? I'm going to chain Lady onto Brightest, and I'm going to chain Karma Cannon onto Lady, right? So Lady's going to uh, dodge Skill Drain. Uh, Mirror Jade is going to send a card, but it doesn't matter. Get negated. Yeah, so because uh, Mirror Jade is going to get flipped face down, this card will fizzle. Yeah, so I do get to set uh, punishment and from deck, and I do get to draw two. So, <laughs> so, so why do I attack Lubelion? I attack Lubelion because uh, I want him face up for punishment, right? Anyway, I set three, pass. They're gonna get back Brandon High Spirits. The saddest part is like this: Brandon player actually thinks he can win a grand game um, with no monster effects against a player that. 
a deck that has lots of back row effects, right? It's like, gee, I wonder how many effects, who has more effects, me or him, right? But he insists on keep playing, all right. He's going to mill, uh, put Brandon in uh, opening, yep. So Mirror Jade is going to crash. All right, I got the board. Okay. Uh, crash, sure. Uh, and then I'm going to punish me here. Goodbye. And this is going to pop that. Goodbye. And then Welcome comes back. Like, <laughs> what do you think is happening? Is going to happen here, my guy? Like, I'm going to get all my monsters back. Brandon Retribution. Back Brand uh, Brandon White. Okay, sure. Make another Mirror Jade. Cool. End phase. Uh, Brightest comes back. Doesn't matter. This is going to set Brandon's sword. Sure. Uh, in direct respect, I should have Psalm Strike uh, this uh, Albion because I have game here. If I did. So Brandon's sword puts a bunch of tokens on the field. Um, that's going to protect his life points. But yeah, I, I basically, if I negated that, well, I mean, I didn't know he was going to set Brandon's sword, but like, without Brandon's sword, I win this turn. And here's why. Uh, end phase. Big welcome. Lady. Uh, summon lady. Uh, I now have a big welcome in the graveyard. Going into my turn, I can bounce a mirror jade, right? And I have a welcome, so that's enough damage to OTK normally. So goodbye, mirror jade. They're gonna send Albion. Doesn't matter. Again, it's like cool. They're gonna banish five cards, put five tokens on the field. Okay. Sure. Welcome into another lady. Attack. Yep. Main two. Uh, tribute for sphere mode. And then a set uh, Draco Utopian. I'm going to Gozen match. So they're locked into Divine Beasts. Divine Monsters, right? Uh, they're going to return Albaz. It doesn't matter. None, like, none of this matters. You're just delaying the inevitable. There, dude, there's no scenario where you win this game. There just isn't, right? Think of, think of any... like. First of all, you're under Gozen. You know you're under Gozen, right? You're locked into Divine Beasts. I, I really would like this guy, if he's watching the video, to post one scenario where he actually wins this game. Like, like, comment in the, in the comment section. I'm really curious. What's the line to win this game, right? All three of his, all his Albions are gone, right? I think. No, no two Albions, a Lubelion, a Mirror Jade. Yeah, it's like his Rindenbrum is already in, in the graveyard. Like Titanic Cloud. Like, what is, what is, what is the win condition here? It's not Super Poly. Yeah, Sirmo comes back. Okay. Attack. And an attack. And I said Ice Dragons. So, if they attempt to put Lubelion on the field, because it has 3k defense, I literally revive any Dark Dragon they have and banish it, right? So, th again, there's no scenario where... Alright, so they got Albion back. Cool. Again, you're just delaying the inevitable. Just, just, just take the loss, my guy. Just move on with your life, right? I could have Ice Dragons on the Albion, but uh, I don't want to risk uh, whatever back row they might have. So I'm, I'm just taking it slow, right? And I don't want to risk like having to deal with a, a, a Lubelion. Yeah. Oh, they surrendered. Big, big fucking surprise. It's like, all right, <laughs> you're not going to win a grind game under Skill Drain against La uh, Labyrinth. It's already hard enough without Skill Drain. With Skill Drain, like, it's just not, it's just not happening, right? All right, duel number 11. We have Labyrinth versus um, Kashtira. <laughs> With the one of Vanity's Fiend. That's hilarious. I think this is a game I, I recall. Yeah, I think I remember this dude. I believe I go second here, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, D shifter, cool. Oh wait, wait, this is not the game I'm thinking. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Prosperity. Grab ogre, sure. Ogre into preparations. Yep. Tribute summon for Vanity's Fiend. That's hilarious. All right, and that's the preparations. So I'm gonna set five. Keep a punishment because, like, you know, it's once per turn. So I'm gonna allow him to swing here. And then I'm only going to act on end phase because I don't want him doing anything on in, in his main phase too, right? So punishment, target this, send Entis. Entis will pop preparations. Preparations will summon. I'm going to welcome into lovely. 
Here's the ogre. Cool. Nice ogre you got there. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. Prosperity. Uh, extravagance for six. Drop. Attack. Uh, reset welcome. Set punishment. Uh, Drake is hoping this once per turn, so... Yeah, let's keep that in hand. What's the play now? Oh, a Fenrir. No way. Uh, Aura. Goodbye. And then he's just going to scoop. Yep. Yeah, Fenrir's at one. Like, you stop one Fenrir, it's like, the only way they can bring him back is with uh, Birth. And if they had Birth, they would have used it already. Like, Preparation is gone, right? Yeah, game's over. Um, duel number 13. Labyrinth versus uh, Tenny Swordsoul. With the one Protoss. Oh, I remember this duel. The one ghost spell. Okay. So I go second. Emergence, Moye. Moye, reveal Longren. Make the token. Uh, Chi Shao. So they search Blackout. No Synchro Ten, so they did not have another Worm or Sword Soul card. So they obviously set about Blackout, right? So if they want to blind Blackout, like their only monster, uh, they can go right ahead, right? So I'm going to big welcome here. Uh, chain l uh, Lady. Bring out Lovely. Bounce Lady. Um, lovely effect to pop. They're going to Chi Shao to negate Lovely. So here's the thing, folks. I'm going to chain uh, Draco Utopian. This is a counter trap. It's spell speed 3, which means they cannot chain. One of these cards is Blackout. They cannot chain Blackout. So I'm going to try to snipe their Blackout using Lovely. Uh, unfortunately, I, I get the wrong one. But I do hit Heavenly Dragon Circle. Uh, and then I decide to um, eradicate her for traps, and then I, I kill Blackout, right? So I so I look at their hand. Um, they only have they have a long hand, a droll, and a call by, call by the grave. Um, yeah, so their hand is like not very good. Yeah, so they can't. No, no, yeah, oh, an Ecclesia, right? Uh, banish Blackout. Make uh, two tokens on their second token. Torrential. Goodbye. Uh, this card they set. They have two call by the graves on the field. Two cards in hand are long ran and Droll and Lockburn. So if, if they draw a worm and try to long ran, I saw him strike and the game's over, right? But yeah, I, I, I uh, eradicated for traps because I don't want them to have access to Blackout when I, my traps are so good. Now I have Lord. Uh, yeah, game's over. Uh, they're going to top deck long ran, which is hilarious. So they're going to they're gonna activate long ran to discard long ran. And I'm going to say uh, saw him strike. Goodbye. So this kills long ran. Their last card in hand is Droll. I summon Lord. I set big welcome. Yeah, it's over. It's completely over. Yeah. And this is OTK, right? This is OTK right here. Top deck sphere mode, whatever. I really think maybe I should just cut sphere mode. Uh, swing, big welcome. Bounce lord. Lovely effect. One, lord two. Pop their draw, because it's funny. Yeah game is over i can literally reset eradicator epidemic like if they don't if they survive i reset eradicate epidemic virus and then i i eradicate them for spells so they're eradicated for tra traps and spells like like if i wanted to right it's like it's funny <laughs> like that's the thing um no matter what they draw uh i think taya is the only thing that can do anything because moya they will not have a second worm uh long and they don't have another thing uh, another thing to discard yeah so the game is completely over not even close Number 14, we have a Labyrinth versus uh, Math Mech. With Red Reboot. Fuck this guy. <laughs> Red Reboot is such such a cancer card. It's such cancers. Alright. Lord. Duality. Yeah, we're going to get a big welcome here. Sign up mining for uh, Firewall Defensor. Normal summon. I'm going to Gozen. Uh, summon Lord. Set pot. Uh, big welcome. Lovely. Bounce Lord. Lovely will pop this card. There goes your normal summon. They're going to circular. Sure. 
They're still locked under Gozen. They can't even exceed, right? It's like, what light monsters can they make through their links? Nothing. So they're going to try to search Super Factorial. I'm going to say no. Uh, they're going to attack this to draw two, and then they're going to scoop. Yeah, like, what, what, what do you think is going to happen? Nothing. This game is over. And finally, duel number 15, we have Labyrinth versus uh, Cash Tira with the Ascended of Thunder. Oh, I remember this duel. This is an interesting duel. Yeah, Ascended of Thunder and the uh, Planet Pathfinder. Pretty funny. Okay. Get into this. I do go second. D Fisher, sure. Theosis onto Fenrir, Fenrir into R uh, Riseheart, Shangri La, Shangri Era. So the cards they banish, uh, not particularly. They're going to block the zone, cool. There's the Fenrir. There's an Arise Heart. So Arise Heart is that one material. It needs three materials in order for it to uh, banish one of my cards. So I'm not going to extra because that will give it more materials. It will also give Shangri-Ra the ability to block back row. So I'm just... And same with Ariana, right? So I'm going to hold these two cards because, again, playing either of them only helps them, right? So I'm just going to set four pass. Uh, by the way, Arise Heart is a machine, and these are psychics, right? So I'm going to shotgun rivalry, uh, thinking he's going to get rid of Arise Heart and stay with his... Psychics? No. He gets he stays with a Rise Heart, which is hilarious. And then he uses a Rise Heart to attach, and I'm I'm gonna kill a Rise Heart. So I just cleared his field with two cards. <laughs> Get wrecked. Pressure Planet, yep. I'm gonna welcome. They're gonna search birth, okay. They're gonna revive uh Fenrir. Uh so chain link one after chain link two lady. They're gonna imperm lady, that's fine. But uh, I'm going to set Karma Cannon and activate Karma Cannon. Or they're gonna, they're gonna, he's going to pop. He's going to banish Rivalry, which is, doesn't matter at this point. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and Karma Cannon. Yeah, so they use their last card in hand, Talent, to look at my hand and put Ariana back into the deck. That's the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. First of all, Pot is just straight up better than Ariana because it's two cards, right? Whereas Ariana can get Imperm, and Ariana only gets me, like, Labyrinth cards, which I don't really need. And instead of drawing two cards, or, like, they just decide to look at my hand. It's like, bro, my guy, what do you think is going to happen, dude? Nothing. That was the most wasted use of talents I've ever seen. Now look at this. I draw a lady, and I'm an extra half for two, six. Yeah, so I have Ariana back anyway, <laughs> and I have a Psalm Strike, right? Like, cool. Good job, my guy. <laughs> I'll run into big welcome. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and kill this Fenrir. And then, uh, yeah. They only have one Fenrir, right? So they can bring it back with a birth. But if I get rid of birth, this game is over. Right. So on draw phase, big welcome. Chain lady. Bring, uh, put punishment down. Even though punishment is deactivated on a D Fisher. Uh, I'm expecting to get rid of this D Fisher before I need this punishment. So lovely comes out. Bounce lady. Lovely one, uh, Ariana two, welcome three, set, draw, oh, Ice Dragons, beautiful. So get rid of birth. Yeah, so what do you got left? Uh, Fen like, Unicorn flips to search uh, Cashier Theosis, and then maybe make some rank seven plays, but then I just say Solemn Strike, goodbye. And it's over, yeah, <laughs> it's completely over. Cash Tira, more like Ass Tira. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I really find it hilarious how, like, in every mode of Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG, TCG, Master Duel, Cash Tira, the ban list has Cash Tira like, so many different levels, right? Like, in the OCG, Fenrir and Unicorn at one each, right? In the TCG, Cash Tira is full power, except they don't have their Xyz, right? No number 89, no Arise Heart. Um, and then Master Duel, they have one Fenrir, one Birth, like, they should, like, all the cashier cards should be at one. One field spell, one Fenrir, one unicorn, one birth. Like, yeah. Because it's just an obnoxious deck. But anyway. 
yeah, so uh, hope hopefully that showed you all that actually uh, Labyrinth is the tier zero deck of the format, not Snake Eyes or whatever the nonsense deck is. I will say when Fire Kings comes out, it might become tier zero because Fire Kings like their monsters don't stay dead ever. That's the problem I have with Fire Kings. It's like it's impossible to actually clear their field and attack their life points. Because their, their monsters just keep recycling and coming back from the graveyard over and over and over. It's like Snake Eyes can sort of do that. Like they can bring it back Promethean. And they can sort of bring back like some of the Snake Eyes like into their, their back row. But like it's way you can still attack them. Like you can still like clear their board like pretty consistently. With Fire Kings, you just can't clear their board. They they just keep coming back over and over and it's so obnoxious. Anyway. Yeah, so uh, that was my adventure of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, 88, 89% win rate with Labyrinth in ranked. This is like the easiest climb ever I've had this year. Um, granted, I've only, it's only my second climb. Right? My last last month, uh, I had a climb and then, you know. Uh, but honestly, like, it, it was even easier than like some of the climbs from last year, like before my hiatus, right? Um, definitely easier than like the tier format uh, climb when tier was at full power. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and you learned something. Um, yeah, I might cut. I might actually cut Sphere Mode. I don't know. I mean, Sphere Mode's still good against Kashtira going second. Like if I had like, I cleared the board here with Rivalry uh, Solemn. But if I had a Sphere Mode, I could just clear the board easily. Um, Brandon still puts up three bodies. Like Super Heavy puts up three bodies. Uh, usually, um, what is it? Uh, Fire Kings puts up or Fire uh, yeah Snake Eyes puts up three bodies, um, with like Flamberge, uh, Diabella Star, Link Rebo, maybe an IP Mascarena, right? Some combination that's maybe sometimes a Barone, depending on what route they go. Like, so yeah, so I, Serum is still pretty good going second against, uh, Snake Eyes. So I don't know. Uh, just I'm keeping it for now, but it, it is it is on like the the borderline chopping block, and of course uh, the whole D barrier down to one because Brandon kind of disappeared. Um. Yeah, I'm curious to see what the next ban list will. I wonder if Brandon's going to get hit again. I mean, I don't think it should. Or maybe, actually, no, it should. Just for the lols. But, uh, yeah, I want to see more hits to, like, tier limits. Because that deck, that, that deck is still alive somehow. I want to see hits to maybe Snake Eyes Poplar at 1 or something. Or, like, Ash, uh, Snake Eyes Ash at 1. Or, I don't know. Some some kind of, like... And then, of course, Super Heavy uh, ban the Link 1, like they did in the TCG. Anyway. Yeah, uh, Labyrinth Best Deck. Later. Peace.